as I understand it, these are the same allegations that were made by the Wild Rose uh, in 2012, which have been uh, recycled for current uh, political purposes. Um, you know, uh, the party uh, dealt with it at that time, and I'm not aware of anyone challenging uh, any uh, donations since that time. Uh, you know, if you what the Wild Rose is actually challenging is the uh, expense reimbursement policy, <clears throat> the expense reimbursement policy of the donors uh, who contributed those funds. And specifically, uh, if you go through the material that was attached to their press release, they're really challenging a number of Alberta municipalities, particularly rural municipalities in this province, on whether there was appropriate reimbursement uh, of public individuals who may or may not have purchased uh, a ticket for a political event. Uh, these are not um, reimbursements that any political party would have notice of. My understanding is that, uh, that in any cases where uh, the party understood that dollars had been uh, contributed and should not have been, that there was repayment. But the point I make is that if someone attended an event, purchased a ticket, <clears throat> and then went back uh, to their municipality as an illustration and received reimbursement for the purchase of that ticket, uh, neither the Conservative Party or anybody else would have any way of knowing that they received that reimbursement.